What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? Back uh, with another one. This one's a little different, but since it comes from uh, Stephen A. Smith, who is a, uh, a regular in the world of sports, specifically basketball, what we cover here. I figured I'd get into this because, hey, I guess somebody asked Stephen A. Smith who's the best starter Pokemon. <laughs> and listen, I love Pokemon. I grew up with Pokemon. Pokemon is my childhood. Got my boy Charmander right here. If anybody's wondering, my favorite Pokemon is none other than Charizard. Charizard's my guy. Then Mewtwo, then Raichu. But anyway, let's see what this is about. It's only about 35 seconds, but this should be interesting. And then I'll say what I have to say. At Randy underscore Vision writes, which one are you taking? Okay. He said, what, what the hell are these? These are more, what are these? <laughs> Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur? Whatever the hell it is. Shamander? Or Squirtle? Is it Pokemon? I guess that's what it is. I'm going to say... You know what I'm going to say? Shamander. That's who I would take. Because it reminds me of me because of the forehead. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay? Oh, my God. This fool said Shamander. <laughs> My boy said Shamander. <laughs> you heard that Charmander? He called dude Shamander, man. <laughs> Wait, what did? How did he say Bulbasaur's name? Let me see that again. He said, "What? What the hell are these? these are, what are these? Bulbasaur? 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 Whatever the hell it is? Bulbasaur? Shamander or the Squirtle?" Is it Pokemons? I guess that's what it is. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to say... Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur? <laughs> what the hell are these? <laughs> that shit's cracked, man. That's funny. Oh, man. Listen, I love Pokemon. Listen, Pokemon is a big part of my life and childhood now. <laughs> I think I'm so Gen 1 and Gen 2 are my two favorite gens. Like, that was where I was in it deep. Then after Gen 2, I kind of started getting away from Pokemon. I wasn't really feeling the new uh, design choices of the new Pokemon. And I was getting into other things, just that and the third. And then I, I hadn't played a new Pokemon game. Or I hadn't played a Pokemon game post-Gen 2 for, like, over a decade. Decade plus. And then when I started my video game YouTube channel... Got a lot of Pokemon fans there, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to continue. I'm going to play Gen 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to go all the way through, and I didn't make it all the way through before I stopped doing content on video games. I think I might have made it to, like, Gen 6, maybe, um, but nothing, nothing compares to Gen 1 and Gen 2, in my opinion. Those first 251 Pokemon means everything to me. Now, to answer his question, which one are you taking? I'll let y'all know what I did. Back in the day, when Pokemon came out, I got a Game Boy Color for my birthday, yellow. And I went back and forth. You know, I didn't know if I wanted blue version. Blastoise looked so cool. I didn't know if I wanted red version. Charizard looked so cool. But blue was my favorite color. So ultimately, I went with blue version. And I couldn't decide if I wanted Charmander or Squirtle. Charmander or Squirtle for my very first Pokemon adventure. Now... I was actually introduced to Pokemon through the anime, through the cartoon, before I got into the video game. All right? So, I ended up picking Squirtle. So, Squirtle was my first ever Pokemon. Ever. Squirtle was amazing. Into War Turtle, into War Turtle, into Blastoise. Phenomenal. Through the anime, Charizard ended up becoming my favorite Pokemon. He did. I just... The whole story between Ash's Charizard 
and just the, the the story arc, the growth, it was just so captivating. And I was just like, Charizard, Charizard, Charizard is awesome. Charizard is awesome. But um, but if you really want to know which one to pick, then honestly, going by Gen One logic, because how these games work is that you know Gen One has its own set of rules, like Pokemon stats, algorithm, all that stuff. But over the years, these Pokemon have gone through changes and, like, statistically, they've gone through changes. Um, not just these Pokemon, but other Pokemon as well. Uh, typing has changed for some of them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, like a, Char like, a Charmander back in Gen 1 or a Charizard back in Gen 1, fully evolved Charmander, isn't nearly as good as what a Charizard would be now in the most more current games, if that makes sense. So, what I'm talking about here, I'm going strictly based off Gen 1 logic. Strictly Generation 1. Red, blue logic, and if you're in Japan, green. Alright, those are the, the versions of the game. Some versions have different Pokemon. So, honestly, you can't go wrong with either Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. Alright, the grass type Pokemon, Bulbasaur, has a type advantage in the first two gyms in the game. Brock and Pewter City has ground rock types. Misty and Cerulean City has water types. Water and ground rock are weak against grass type Pokemon. So Bulbasaur is a great choice early on, especially dealing with the uh, early gym leaders. Um... Bulbasaur also reaches its final evolution, Venusaur, uh, a couple levels earlier than the other two starter Pokemon, uh, which can be really great uh, with game progression. Uh, if you're thinking long term, you know, Bulbasaur, who would be Venusaur, uh, might be a very good choice if you're looking for a great balanced Pokemon. Um, it has excellent, excellent, excellent support skills or support attacks that are great for uh, team-based strategy and attacking, like Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, Poison Powder. I used to love using Mega Train. Uh, and then it even has Razor Leaf, which has an excellent uh, critical hit ratio. And if you even want, you could do a Solar Beam. And Venusaur also has a uh, great special, has the best special between... All of the starter Pokemon. Blastoise has great defense. Uh, Blastoise has a great TM pool technical machine, which are attacks that you can teach your Pokemon if you have the machine to teach them. Um, yeah, he, he has a great TM pool that he can dig into. And Blastoise can also learn ice type moves, which will cover him great against grass type Pokemon, which he's weak against. Now, Blastoise's special pales in comparison to Venusaur's, but I think having those ice-type attacks more than make up for it. Uh, Blastoise is also the slowest of the fully evolved forms of the Pokemon. Charizard, my favorite. Charizard can learn fly. I think Charizard can learn fly, Gen 1. Pretty sure. Uh, Charizard is going to give you the best attack. Um, but it's special also compels, or it's special also pales in comparison to Venusaur's. Um, and Charizard has the weakest defense of the bunch, but has the highest speed. Uh, it can learn slash attack, headbutt, which can come in handy. Uh, skull bash with its high attack power, but I tend to, I think I tend to use double edge, which I will get hit with recoil, understand that. Or, or Slash, which is pretty good because it has a pretty decent critical hit ratio. But to be honest, you can find better typing of each of these Pokemon um, by catching other Pokemon in the game. Like there's better fire types in Charizard. There's better water types in Blastoise. There's better uh, grass types in Venusaur. But nothing compares to the bond between you and your starter Pokemon. And that's enough to keep them in your starting lineup no matter what. Like, I would, I, I don't think I ever, ever, through playing the game, like, playing the game initially, all the way up to beating the Elite Four and completing the game, I don't think I ever benched my starter in any Pokemon game. 
Now, after I beat the game, and I just want to train other Pokemon, try to get as many level 100s as I can. Um, of course, you know, I, I got to make you know slots available. You can only hold six Pokemon at a time in your party. So, your active party. But anyway, that's my rant. I had, I had to geek out a little bit, man. I had to geek out a little bit. Anywho, let me know what you think. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. They all come out fairly balanced in the end. It's just, what do you prefer? High attack power, high special, better defense. It's preference, really. But uh, let me know. Which one are you taking, for whatever reason? Just because you love how they look? Or just because, uh, competitively, you would prefer this one? We'd love to hear your opinion. For all the Pokemon people here on the channel, I can't imagine that there's many. I can't imagine we have many Pokemon people here. But... For those of you that are around, feel free to speak up on it. You got to be the very best. Like no one ever was. We out, baby.